Hi, by now you've downloaded Blender, but did you know that downloading Blender gets even more fun? For one, you can grab Blender through Steam. It's that video game thing by that guy named Gabe. Just search the Steam store to get your copy if you tend to use Steam a lot. And for two, new Blender versions are actually available for download daily. <laughs> These are experimental versions with weird and funky features and interfaces and doodads. If you're interested, the developer section of Blender.org or the Blender build websites like GraphicAll.org are your friend. This kind of fast-paced experimentalism is what enables Blender to remain on the cutting edge. But because you're new to Blender, I'd recommend hanging out with official Blender Hi. before getting to know his experimental hey. friends. Anyway, it's time for part two, installing Blender. Installing Blender should not be difficult. The Blender developers offer support on the principle that any computer purchased five years ago or less should be able to run the current version of Blender. And if your computer is grandma old, you can still install and run previous versions of Blender without issue. But installing may be a poor title for this part, only Windows actually has an installer. So let's cover that first. If you nav that version, simply find the MSI file on your system and double click it. Follow the instructions or just blaze through clicking next as fast as possible. All the defaults should be fine. If you have a zipped version of Blender for Windows, you need to unzip it, aka extract, with WinRAR, 7-Zip, or whatever software you have by right clicking the zipped folder. Copy that new folder wherever you like, and if you want to run Blender, you simply double click the Blender exe file. Oh, and a little tip you can give to a butler. If you hold Alt and click drag the exe file to another window, you'll make a link to it. The future is now. If you are on a Mac, uncompress the zipped file and drag the Blender app into the Applications folder to make it easily accessible. Accessible. Next! Linux users should extract like everybody else. Click the app to launch it, and if you drag the icon onto the menu bar, you can create a launcher. I'm not going to hold my Linux friends' hands in this video because they're using Linux and they know how to do it. Also, their fingertips are calloused and rough from typing too much. If you encounter any problems with these steps, your best bet is to check the Blender user manual for help. The support page at blender.org is where you can find it. You could also try leaving a comment and someone will probably help. We're doing a strength training now. Let's sit down. We're going to start from the military press. Hold your hands up in go and point position. Now let's go. You know, the poodle lady may seem weird and strangely attractive, but she has a good head on her spherical shoulders. She knows that challenging herself is healthy, and our challenge is healthy too, for your mind. This time, the challenge is to install Blender. Didn't see that coming? Here are the steps. On Windows, install the MSI file like any other installer, or extract your zip download. Optionally, make a link to blender.exe by alt-clicking and dragging. On a Mac, uncompress the file, then drag the Blender app to your Applications folder. On Linux, extract the file and add it to your menu bar as a launcher. When you've completed these steps, start Blender up, and if it works, on to the next video.